ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from the fashion capital of Paris, France, Reche Chanel. Taz, we've seen Reche Chanel over the past few weeks here on AEW Dark, and she's left quite an impression on you. Yes, she's uh, extremely entertaining. Uh, uh, Miss Chanel is, is very talented. I mean, anybody who is from the fashion capital of the world, one of my favorite places ever, Paris, as most people call it Paris, but I call it Paris. Well, you called it the France capital of the world. Well, that's that should have been an edit, but yes, <laughs> correct. <laughs> uh. And her opponent, from Kanagawa, Japan, she is the AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida. Well, Taz, Shida is the AEW Women's World Champion. This will be a non-title match, but we found out last week on Dynamite there are some very interested parties in Hikaru Shida and that AEW Women's World Championship. Oh, absolutely. It's a, 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 a very prestigious championship here in our women's division. Obviously, it's the, the top of the heap for sure. And Shida's very, uh, very capable and tough competitor and a great champion. Overall record caliber, as you know, at 18 and 7, 13 and 1 in singles in 2020. Very impressive. Yeah, a record like that does not go unnoticed. It earned her the title shot against Nyla Rose at Double or Nothing this past May, where she was able to win that Women's World Championship. And now, Hikaru Shida, every bit of fighting champion. Well, it's a big moment for Rache Chanel here. I mean, any time you get an opportunity to be in the ring with the champion, and that's the case here, when you're competing against Sheeta, it's a big moment, uh, in my professional opinion, for, for you know, Rache Chanel. Rache Chanel not uh, dodging the lockup attempt there by Hikaru Sheeta. She, well, uh, did she do something with her hair, Taz? She did. She changed it. Oh, uh, thank you. Because, <laughs> yes, there's more blonde highlights in it, but I digress. You see Sheeta here getting, uh, you know, getting control two on one on the wrist, on the arm, getting that arm ringer, per se, and into a hammerlock. Well done. So you got to watch, you know, Sheeta. She's well-versed in submission. Great striker, as you know, Excalibur. I think Rache might be in a little over her head here, hence why she's calling timeout. She's really upset about that, that side headlock and what it was doing to her to her hair. Well, notice how she gravitated to the camera right away, Rache, but, you know, <laughs> Sheeta's all business. It's all about physicality for Sheeta. Big swing and a miss there by she Rache Chanel once again. Tess, she's in there with the world champion. Oh, 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 Messi Jones, I see. Okay, messing up the hair. I like that out of Sheeta. Don't expect that. Sheeta, oh, Ooh, no. trying to bring the fight out of Rache Chanel. And she got a hot one right there. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Kick, Some kick to the midsection. She was looking for the Falcon Arrow right there, but Chanel able to float out the back Ooh. door and knee to the midsection. It's not often you see a knee, a, a knee strike into Sheeta's body. It's usually Sheeta doing it the other way around. Yeah, she is, as you mentioned, that's so dangerous with those knees is Hikaru Sheeta. But right now, the champion on the canvas after that swing neck breaker. You know, both athletes, uh, similar experience as far as years. I mean, Rache, has got about nine years experience where Sheeta's had 11 years, but uh, obviously Sheeta's much more of a world traveler, has a lot more world-class experience, which is, a, it's a big deal. Yeah, no knock against uh, Rache no, Chanel, but Hikaru Sheeta has faced a higher level of competition in her career as she is now strung up in the Ooh. ropes. Referee Frankie Gathno allowing a, oh, and there's, Oh, the uh, the Chanel gimmick bag. The allegedly Chanel gimmick bag. Right, alleged. Bag. Oh, and now, look at, oh, she's. What? Now, Taz, I've never seen this in a professional wrestling match. I don't match. know why that comb's orange. She obviously didn't get the memo, but I, that's another story. But yeah, I've never really seen someone comb someone else's hair. <laughs> I mean. Uh, Enzigiri attempt there by Hikaru Shida. Chanel Oof. picks her up, drops her down. Back of well the head. Done. Well done, look at this. Two, no. Hey, just to get a two count on, on, on the, the champ. The champ is a big deal. That's pretty cool right there. So let's see if Chanel uh, can keep that pressure on. And as we mentioned before, this is a non-title match, Taz, but uh, a victory here for Chanel would almost Ooh. certainly yeah. get, get her uh, into a title match with the champion. Absolutely. I touched on that earlier. I mean, it's a big deal. Whenever you get a chance to compete against a world champion, it just instantly gives you that a, a big time shine on you, you know. So let's see if she can capitalize. But right oh. now, there's the knee strikes we alluded to and talked about earlier from Sheeta. Thunderous knee strike in the corner, Rache Chanel. 
dropped with one single shot there. This is what you're about to see is a big time move in. Oh, the arsenal of Sheeta. That's one of her staples right there at that high rising knee while her opponent's on the apron. And, and more often than not, as we saw just there, their her opponent rolls back into the center of the ring. And that's where Sheeta has Chanel up in the vertical oh, suplex position. Good strength, good strength and balance. Nice job, that delayed vertical. Great delayed vertical suplex. Sheeta covers one, two. Chanel able to kick free. Some might say, well, why didn't Sheeta hook the leg? You don't always have to hook the leg. If you get enough body weight across the upper torso of your opponent, a lot of times you can get a victory. You get a pin that didn't happen there, though. Roche Chanel still in this fight as she sent in the corner. No, reversal kick to the midsection. Back Sheeta up to the corner. Yeah, well, I, you know what I'm impressed with, with uh, Rache Chanel, there's no fear in her towards uh, Sheeta. You know, which a, a lot of athletes, oh! the female athletes are afraid of Sheeta. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. And it's, it's that striking game that Sheeta uh -oh. possesses. Oh boy. Sheeta with a catch on Chanel. She might get suplexed out of her uh, fancy uh, Gucci boots. And oh, oh, maybe not. Ooh. Dropped into a backbreaker. Sheeta rolls her over. And now, oh, look at this. Almost like a Fujiwara armbar. Yeah, complete tons of pressure on the deltoid shoulder, AC joint area of, and rotator cuff of Chanel's shoulder. And you notice Sheeta also placing that, uh, the point of her right elbow in the, in the spine yeah. of Roche Chanel, just getting a, a little extra oomph on there, but Chanel able to make it to the bottom rope to force the break. Yeah, you could see Chanel's feeling that she tried to get some blood back into that joint, her shoulder joint. Oh, Sheeta. Flips uh, Chanel through, she flipped her. Oh, oh, wow. Sliding elbow strike. Oh. Well, she didn't knock her out earlier, she knocked her out now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Might have woken Chanel back up. That was pretty sick. And now Sheeta hoists Chanel up, center of the ring. Roche Chanel tried for an inside cradle. Sheeta powers her up. Wow, good job right there. And does the deal. It's the Falcon Arrow. One, two, three. Hikaru Sheeta victorious. The winner of this match, the AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Sheeta. That's what's so impressive about Sheeta, our, our AEW Women's Champion. It's just she makes adjustments, Excalibur, as you know. In between moves, in between her offense, she does make adjustments. And it's tough to, you know, it's tough to train for someone like that you know, to compete against her. And Taz, we've seen, we saw a lot more power out of Sheeta tonight. I mean, I know that she's been strength training, but if this is a, you know, if this portends of something that of things to come, Sheeta may be our women's world champion for a very, very long time. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Making a statement here! Can you believe? That's right, JR. Now kids big and small can relive their favorite AEW moments at home with the brand new Unrivaled Collection by Jazzware. The Judas Effect. The Crossroads. Super Kick Heart Day! Beat Trigger! AEW Unrivaled, this August.